Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys some decorative stands that I would like to make. All right, everyone. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted some pictures of my cousin's birthday party that I attended last weekend. And um, in the morning, I went to church with her. And while I was there, I met one of my subscribers, which is so very nice. Her name is, I hope I'm not getting it wrong, it's either Lauren or Lorene. Thank you so much for coming up and saying hi to me, my dear. And so I just wanted to give her a shout out. And now, let's get into the items that we're going to use for this DIY today. I have these stands here. You guys, these square blocks, I got them from Dollar Tree. OMG, they have different sizes, different shapes. So I picked up these ones to make the stands that I'm going to make today. They're very nice, eh? <laughs> okay, we need the candle holders also. And we have our little bling wraps that we got from Dollarama. This one I was gifted in a prize mail that I got, this black and white one, which is very nice. And we're going to use the white spray, which I got from Walmart. All right, everyone. And our E6000, and our scissors, and our glue gun. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be painting the base with um, this acrylic paint. I spray painted some of the squares already, and the white paint is not really sticking to it. So I think it's best to put a coat of white paint and then spray paint them white. Or you could just paint them white if it's up to you. Do more than one coat of white paint would be good too. And now we're going to take our candlesticks and glue them together. We're going to use the E6000 and the glue gun. What I do is I put E6000s at certain places and the other spots I put just the glue gun. I don't mix the two glues together. So two of them we're going to glue together with this shape. And the other two, we're going to glue them with this angle, <laughs> with the two small sides together. And remember you guys, they have to sit for 24 hours for, firm, for a firm hold. The glue gun just helps work now, but you have to be careful. They have to set for 24 hours. All right, everyone, here are our pieces all painted and dried. So now we're just going to bling them out. <laughs> okay, we're going to start by adding the bling going all the way around. Okay, I spray painted two of our candle holders. So now we're going to bling them out. This will help cover up the imperfection that's showing where we join them together with the glue. And now we're just going to bling out the top part of these decorative stands with our bling wrap going all the way around. Here's our finished look everyone. Our bling decor stands. I love how they turned out. They look very nice. And blinged out with the rhinestones. Going all the way around. Like I said, um, two stands I painted white, all white, and this middle stand here, I left the candle holders clear. I think it gives it a nicer effect with the trays are painted white and the candle holders that's holding it up are clear. I like how they turned out. And here are some of the items that I'm displaying on my stand, which you can display any item that you like if you make these stands for yourself. 
They're very nice. I like them. I think they look really nice. It's a nice added touch to display whatever you like in your home, in your room, in the washroom, in your bedroom, in the living room. These decorative stands can be placed anywhere in your home. All right, everyone, I hope I've given you another nice decor idea to add some nice pieces to your home. You see, you can go to the Dollar Tree, buy your items, make lovely things on a budget, and spruce up your home very nice. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did today. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bliss. Bye-bye, everyone. When I had you, I would say, okay, I need you beside me.